The Arnold Arboretum has been actively mapping its plant collection since 1938. And from 1938 to the mid-1980s, maps were hand-drawn on uh, 24 by 36 inch sheets of paper. Uh, in the 1980s, a large effort was launched to digitize uh, the landscape. And so survey work was done by Sasaki uh, and Associates, and a full set of CAD maps were produced. Uh, that was really our first foray into the world of GIS. In 2009, we took another big step in our burgeoning GIS and moved uh, software from uh, AutoCAD to uh, ArcGIS. And today we use ArcGIS for all of our, our mapping uh, and, and cardiographic needs. So some of the things that we've always been interested in are uh, how do the microclimates, the, the, the vagaries in, in climate at the Arboretum, because we do have some terrain, how do those affect plant performance? We might have over time collected data on plant performance, uh, and we might have a few data points based on um, you know, temperature or innuendo of what the temperature were in these areas, but we never really had an, uh, a, a mechanism to consolidate it. So in 2008, we deployed a whole bunch of micrometeorological stations, about 18 of them across the landscape, which are capturing temperature and relative humidity. We're not so much interested in the relative humidity, but we are interested in the temperature, and in particularly the, the, the average annual minimum temperature, which is the same type of statistic they use to generate the hardiness zone maps in the U.S. So now that we have three or four years of those data, we can express those across the landscape using our, our GIS and actually, in a way, create a hardiness zone map, if you will, of the Arnold Arboretum. We can not only document where our cold spots are, but also where our microclimates are for things that where it doesn't get as cold on the coldest nights of the year. And those are areas that we're really interested in knowing, because that's when, where we can put some of our more tender material. One of the things that excites me about our, our foray into this broader, more uh, expansive GIS is, 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 our, is our drive of the Arnold Arboretum to, to do the best job we can at documenting our plants and having the information available to us and other scholars to, to fully explore and exploit those plants and their data. And it's, it's part of our, our mantra. You know, we're out there, we, we expanded our field check system. We expanded our documentation procedures on, on where the plants came from and, and the information attached to them. We're doing a, 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 a more robust, uh, we have a more robust system now to track research use and actually collect the, the products of those research discoveries and integrate those into our systems. Uh, it only uh, enhances those uh, options when we have a GIS. So this is another tool in the toolbox. It allows us to pose questions that we didn't even know existed two or three years ago. Uh, and it's, it's really exciting for us to, to think about this next stage, this next uh, chapter.